Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in today's video we're going to go over potential relays and how they work. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In today's video we're going to be going over potential relays and how they work. A special feature to this video is that we're actually going to open one up and see what's inside. Potential relays are used with single phase capacitor start capacitor run motors, which need relatively high starting torque. Their main function is to assist in the starting the motor. Knowing the sequence of operation for this type of starting relay can help you diagnose, confirm, or rule out certain service problems. A potential relay has a nickname in the field as a 5-2-1 relay. Here's your 5, here's your 2, here's your 1. 5-2-1. This type of relay consists of a high resistance coil, which is between five and two, and a set of normally closed contacts between two and one. So five and two, we see we have a coil symbol in between, and we have a symbol of a normally closed contact between two and one. Your five, two, one relay. One thing that really struck me as strange earlier in my career was this extra terminal. You see we have it labeled as four. Sometimes you also see a six. This has nothing to do with the relay and it's honestly a dummy, a dummy point. So you can just disregard this. The only thing you'll be checking in this relay is points five, two, and one. And this works for every single type of relay that is on the market. As far as this dummy point, four or four and six, what is it used for? It is simply used for wire connections. So instead of using a wire nut, you could just use this point here and connect a few wires together. And this is gonna be depending on the type of setup you have and what you're trying to accomplish. Here's a diagram of what we just went over. This is the internals of your potential relay. As we explained, we have a coil between five and two. And between two and one, we have a set of normally closed contacts. As you can see, four and six, there is nothing there and it is not connected to our internals of the relay as these are dummy points just so you can simply make wire connections. One thing you will notice is that the coil and contacts are in series. Here we have another diagram and in this one we have our potential relay in an actual circuit. From here, we're going to explain how this works and the role the potential relay actually plays. Just a heads up, if so far you are enjoying this video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Don't forget to share with your friends, and let's continue. Let's begin by going over exactly what we have here and what we're looking at. Here is line one coming in, and here is line two. Here we have normally open contacts, and it's gonna be our cycling control to keep things simple. Let's just say this is our thermostat. Power comes in, goes into our overload, which is for our compressor. This right here is our compressor. This is our common point. Run winding, start winding. We have a run cap and we have a start cap. In these dotted lines, this is our potential relay. Here's our contacts, one and two. What is not labeled here is terminal five. Terminal 5 is going to be right here. Remember, that was the inlet for our relay coil. So we're going to take power from line 1. And here's 5. This is what starts the whole sequence. So let's go over this. The potential relay is not like other relays. Definitely not your basic control relay. It has a specific purpose. And the main goal is to help this system start by allowing the flow of electricity to your start cap. But once your compressor is up to speed, we want to remove the start cap from the circuit. So let's go over. Power comes in line one. Voltage is always sitting here. Once our thermostat calls for cooling, these contacts will close. And now we are allowing the flow of electricity to flow. This is going to be our common point for our compressor, right? This is our compressor. So it goes through the overload 
and from here power is going to distribute but it's also going to come down here our coil for our potential relay once again inside these dotted lines this is our potential relay five two and one as you can see these contacts are normally closed so what's going to happen is that electricity is going to flow through this coil and it's going to pass through here and that is going to energize our start cap we're going to have power going through our windings through the run cap and the start cap and it's going to complete the circuit through l2 what happens is that once your compressor is up to speed we want to get rid of the start cap and how that happens is something called a back EMF. EMF stands for electromotive force. So each relay is calibrated to a specific EMF. So what happens is that once the compressor is up to speed, that EMF is going to travel back and it's actually going to open the set of contacts. And once the set of contacts is open, there's no more flow to the start cap. So now your system is just constantly running through your run cap and the system runs. So the whole purpose is to flow electricity to the start cap, help us start. Once we started and reached a certain speed, we're going to get that back EMF. It's going to open these contacts, remove the start winding, excuse me, remove the start cap. And pretty much you just run from there. So the EMF is generated in the iron core wrapped around with the relays coil. The generated back EMF opposes the line voltage and can be measured across the start winding or the coil of the potential relay, which are terminals two and five. All motors have different magnitudes of back EMF, thus requiring different potential relay designs. So this is not a universal control. You're gonna need the specific potential relay for your specific motor. One thing that I must point out is on the side of every relay, there's gonna be an arrow, which references the top. This arrow must be facing up or else this relay will not work. Like I always say, the key to this trade is your attention to detail. So here's our potential relay, five, two, one. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Five, two, one. That is really cool to see. Here is our coil, clearly. And here is our set of contacts. See that right there? They are normally closed. These two are touching together, that's normally closed. And that's open. So voltage is gonna flow through the coil. These contacts are closed. It's gonna head to our start cap. Once we're up to speed, we're gonna get that EMF, that back EMF. It's gonna travel back and then it's gonna open the contacts. Once that force overcomes the tension of this spring. So power's gonna come in, go through, start our motor, run through the run cap. Once that back EMF overcomes the force of this spring, we're gonna open our contacts and we're going to remove power from our start cap and the compressor continues to run. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.